the sprayer I'm always doing the trim first and the reason why I like doing that is I like to mask onto a smooth surface in your trip trim typically is smooth and it will be painted with a semi-gloss paint so you'll be able to mask onto a smooth surface and that will always give you the straightest line versus masking onto a wall which is typically like an orange peel texture and it's going to be rough and it's just not going to give you a smooth surface to mask onto so always do your trim first and then go on to your next step. So the next step in the process after I've painted my trim is I'm actually gonna paint my ceilings. And in order to paint the ceilings, you might get a little bit of splatter coming down. So I like my trim, or actually my baseboards, which is part of the trim, to be dry enough that I can mask onto it. And I'll run an inch and a half masking, or if you only got one inch, just use one inch, that'll be fine. And what that does is when you're rolling your walls, if you get any splatter coming down, if it lands on top of your baseboards, then it'll just leave that speckling down there. So just run tape along the top of your baseboards and then begin rolling your ceilings and then after the ceilings are dry then we'll begin doing our walls but when you do your ceilings you want to take your ceilings down just about an eighth of an inch to a half an inch onto your wall because then when you roll your walls you're going to be cutting in your ceiling lines so now that we got our ceilings all rolled and this is one of the reasons why I like doing the ceilings first and that's because I like to do my cut-ins and that's actually when I'm cutting in, I wanna be able to look at my cut-ins straight ahead at me. It's a lot easier to cut in versus actually looking up and actually trying to cut in the ceiling if you do your walls first and your ceilings next. So I like to do my trim, then my ceilings, and then my walls because my wall cut-ins are gonna be a lot easier. So I'm gonna roll my walls and do all my cut-ins and then my job's gonna be complete.